welcome back we get to learn our second note so we already know our B flat so the next note that we're going to learn is our A now our A is just an extra finger on top of our B flat so I would highly recommend using your short B flat so that your thumb is on the double thumb key you've got your first finger on the first key and your pinky on the pinky key and then all you have to do is add finger number two that's all it is one two thumb pinky now it doesn't matter there is no difference if you put your thumb on the double or the single key so do what you wish however if you do put it on the single your movement between the long B flat is going to be two fingers and then you're going to go to the A so I think that that's a little bit more complicated than just moving one finger so your choice long B flat short B flat completely up to you I'm going to be using short so that all I have to do is move one finger okay now the first song that we're going to play using this A <laughs> is again lots of semi breathes and semi breathe rests so we're going to play a for four beats rest for four play for four rest for four play for four rest for four play for four you'll get the idea so have a look at the piece of music in the workbook and let's give it a go so starting with a for four beats one two three four rest two three four rest two three four rest two final one and that is our piece nice and easy so if you're not getting a clear sound as i said in the last lesson make sure that your embouchure is right you're pinching the sides blowing through a tiny hole as if your lips are blowing through a straw you need to center the lip plate to the hole where you're blowing out you may need to move it to the side if you have a peaked lip but experiment it will come and the other important thing is to make sure that you're doing the sizzle with your breathing if you're not tightening your stomach muscles and controlling the air that comes out then you're not going to be able to hold that note for four beats this can take a little while a while so don't be disheartened if you're not getting it straight away you need to keep working on it and when you do get a sound that you like sit there and go wow that was awesome what did I do to get that? And the more that you focus on what you're doing correctly, the more you'll notice that as you pick up your flute, you'll play it first time. Okay, so having a look at the second piece on that page down the bottom, we are now going to be using the two notes that we know, the B flat and the A. So we're gonna start for the B flat and we're gonna hold it for a semi breathe so that's four beats. Then we're going to have a semi breathe rest, which is resting for four beats. Then we're gonna to change to the A. A for four beats, rest for four beats, B flat for four beats, rest for four beats, and then A for four beats. So let's give it a go. Starting on your B flat. Now I would highly recommend using the short B flat because then all you have to do is add a finger. If you want to use the long B flat, you're going to be moving between the two keys and you're gonna be moving two fingers rather than just the one. So your choice as to which one you want to use, I'm going to be using short B flat and only moving the one finger. Let's give it a go, starting on B flat. One, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. Rest, two. Final one. And that is it. So keep experimenting until you can play those two notes really confidently. And I'll see you next lesson.